In this presentation, we're going to look at decision theory and a loss function table, which we have presented here. So in this loss uh, function table, we have four possible decisions and three possible states of nature. Theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 are the states of nature and D1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this is a loss function table, so these signify the losses on uh, by each decision according to each state of nature. So the first question asks us, state which decision can be discounted immediately. So essentially what we have to do here is look at each of the rows, okay, and go through them and compare them uh, item by item, okay. Now, I'll just actually sort of go to the main one I want to talk about. So for example, let's go for D1 and D3, okay. Uh, we sort of compare the losses under each state of nature. So 10 is bad, but it's better than 12. 15, 15, okay, 5, and 10. So the losses according to D3 are always worse, if not the same, than D1. They're never better than D1, okay? So in that case, you're never... It's never a good uh, uh, choice to pick D3 when D1 will always give you better options or at least equally as good options, okay? Now, that's it really. So essentially, uh, you could compare, go through the rest of them and see if you can find any other um, sort of similar sort of conclusions, okay? You won't, but there you go. So that's what you do. Uh, spend a bit of time at it just to sort of make sure you get the right pair, okay? So we say that D3 is dominated by D1 in that the losses incurred by D1 are always less than or equal to D3. Now, determine the minimax solution to this problem and then also determine the Bayes criterion solution to this problem. When we're dealing with the Bayes criterion, it's essentially, uh, essentially the expected value of the losses okay, according to each of the three conditions, okay, so we need these probabilities there, 0 0.4, 0 0.25, and 0 0.35, okay, so we'll come back to that shortly, okay, so I just want to check that, now, the first thing is the mini-max solution, so what we do here is go through, we can discount this one really, okay, I just left it in there for the sake of completion, but you don't, we sort of, in part one, we sort of, already discounted it okay now so part a even i should say so essentially what we do is go through the uh, each decision and pick out the maximum loss so there it is 15 there it is 20 uh, there it is 15 also that should be 15 there actually and 23 okay so essentially what we're doing is looking at this table here and picking out which of the outcomes gives us the best um, is the minimum of those maximums losses okay we sort of discounted d3 okay so really i shouldn't have really included it there because we in, in part a we've discounted it so essentially the answer is the minimum of those maximas maximums or maxima is 15 okay so according to the minimax solution the best uh strategy is to pick 15. so no matter how bad it gets it'll never be worse than 15. okay now the biz criterion is essentially the expected value of the losses okay um, and it's calculated like a discrete random variable okay so essentially what we do is go through the table and calculate the expected losses according to the probabilities. So we get, uh, for the first case, uh, theta 1, the probability of that is 0 0.4, the loss is 10. For theta 2, the probability of that is 0 0.25, the loss is 15, and 0 0.35 times 5, the loss is uh, so essentially, yeah, essentially add them all up and we get 9.5. Similarly, we get 13.5. Again, I have D3 included there. Not really, it's, I should have excluded it really, but just for the sake of completeness. 
and then 10.55. Now, the base criterion is the uh, expected value that is of greatest advantage to us and in that case it is also d1 that is the lowest there okay so the base criterion is also to choose d1 okay that's great we'll leave it there